Hello YouTube, this is Frank, and this is February 17th, 2024, and this is my 77th video, and 4 out of 5 for the Libra Computer videos, and the videos are on the Lafrit Alta Solitude Sweet Potato from Libra Computer, and this is the 4th one in the series that I was making. I will be using a... Uh, refurbished PC running Windows 10 Professional um, and I do have another project on my table over there uh, I've got a Lee Potato running Armion, a Lee Potato running NetBSD 9.3 uh, Lafrit running NetBSD 10.0 Release Candidate 1 and those are on, on my project where I'm going through Professor Shaman's uh, Unix uh, programming course he put all of his lectures uh, on the internet for free and that's what that project is over there on my table uh, there, let's see let me take my my board down I'll show you what I've got let's see here. all right yeah, I have, um, disclosure, I have no financial, employment, personal, or family relationship with any brand or product. I purchase all the products that appear in my videos with my money. And I, I'm retired. I just put it around with computers and networking and software. And this is the four out of five. <clears throat> now, these notes that I've, here that I'm showing, they're... they're uh, um, I, both for the viewer and for me, and I'm kind of assuming the the uh, viewer has little experience with uh, single board computers, and uh, is just curious about uh, single board computer options, uh, whether it's Raspberry Pi or uh, Libra computer or, or those other uh, uh, single board computers, and I will be mentioning on the go OTG. That's that is the uh, uh, the uh, only get a USB port for uh, and it's used for a, a UMS gadget booting a USB drive and uh, updating firmware. Now this one is this video is on the uh, Solitude. Uh, I've received my Solitude and Alta from Libra Computer in December. 2023 uh, and I've been playing with these boards here for the last two months or so now there have been some issues reports of issues with um, AMD processors running Linux and flashing some of uh, the images so in this video I will be using a um, refurbished AMD uh, Ryzen uh, processor and so let me show you, if we go down to the uh, task manager and performance, and there's the, that's the CPU that I, I will be using. Uh, now the, um, uh, I bought this computer, I, refurbished from the Walmarts during Black Friday week in, in 2023 and that's the model number I added some RAM uh, because this processor has four cores and eight threads and I can um, run virtual machines uh, with, a, with a lot of memory and with those threads it came with a, a 256 gigabyte drive, a case, power supply, keyboard, mouse, and Windows Professional. So uh, if, if, you, if I only had $90 to budget for some kind of computer and I had a choice between a uh, single board computer and kind of a, a newish refurbished PC with Windows 10 Pro, I would go with the um, refurbished PC. Uh, now, uh, if you don't want to watch the entire video, 
this is what this, I, I want to give you the summary right now. I plan to uh, play with U-Boot in all these videos, but I ran into some trouble with uh, the UMS gadget, uh, and I, I found some USB controller issues. <clears throat> uh, quick summary. I'm having, I'm finding issues with the UMS gadget uh, running Windows 10 Professional in the memory module, the uh, SD card, and with the uh, solid state drive. Uh, I'm seeing some uh, issues booting the uh, uh, solid state drive from the on the go port, uh, and it uh, goes to a read only file system. And uh, I found a, an issue with a uh, USB, older USB controllers. And I've been playing with this Solitude in Alta for uh, the last couple of months. And in this video, the firmware that I'm using, I'm using the latest firmware. Uh, now, I, I expected the uh, Solitude to recognize the uh, UMS gadget. Uh, it, it did recognize it on the Lafrite and the Sweet Potato uh, from both the AMD and the Intel uh, refurbished PCs. Uh, and let me pause this. I get have some water. Yeah, I'm I'm not having success with the uh, new boot uh, gadget. Um, uh, I'll show you my uh, errors that I'm, I'm getting, and I'll show you why I use a $15 uh, solid state drive to play around with. I use, uh, and I'll show you what I got right here. Uh, now, I use uh, Western Digital Gold uh, Drives. Uh, that's a 10 terabyte. That's a $250 uh, hard disk with data on there. And uh, when I'm playing around with these single board computers, I want to make sure that I do not trash a $250 drive with data on there. Uh, I don't mind trash. I do not mind trashing a, uh, a $15 uh, drive. Not with not a, an expensive hard drive with data, uh, and so I could could not get the uh, UMS uh, gadget to work. So we'll go ahead and just uh, flash it the uh, the image the old way. Um, and this is kind of the a, a table right here, um, the UMS gadget. Uh, no problem with the free and the sweet potato, but I'm finding issues with the solitude and the Alta. Uh, video 75, I showed uh, the free. Video 76 with the sweet potato, I showed the uh, uh, UMS gadget on all three memory options. And now this is the solitude, video 77. This is the video we're watching right now. Uh, I expected the... Uh, uh, the solitude to uh, boot uh, Debian uh, from the uh, solid state drive and uh, the sweet potato does boot from the solid state drive but it runs kind of slowly now I, I don't recommend it but uh, I'm just testing that uh, various configurations and I will show you uh, just to demonstrate let me here's my table uh, here's my table. Here's my sweet potato. I've got a solid state drive, uh, and I'm running on the uh, on the go port, and I've got everything hooked up. Now I, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's turn the drive on, the power. Okay, we've got power to the to the drive. And I will turn the uh, power on to the uh, sweet potato. Uh, 
Okay, let me get over here to my... Okay, here's the... Um, uh, okay, I'm going to turn the power on. And this is what I was expecting to see from the uh, Solitude and Alta. It boots up. There's the boot uh, uh, screen for uh, Grub. And it kind of runs kind of slowly, but uh, here it's just boot, booting up. And this is the uh, the the the, uh, uh, the desktop image that I'm running. So I tried the uh, desktop image with both the uh, sweet potato, the Alta, and the Solitude. And I was expecting the um, Solitude and the Alta to boot up from the um, on the go drive. So here's coming up. Here's the um, uh, Debian, and it takes just a a minute or two to um, uh, boot up to the um, uh, installation screen. Yeah, let me, uh, let's see now. It's not really in focus right there. Is that better? Let me get a, something to focus that on. Here it comes. Is it focusing? Oh yeah, that's better. And there's our um, there's our installation screen for the uh, uh, Debian. That's that is what I was expecting. So I'm gonna I will turn the uh, power off uh, and get back over to my uh, notes here. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. I'm gonna okay. So let's just. Uh, Disconnect all of this. This was the sweet potato. I'm going to turn my drive off. Uh, I need to disconnect these wires. Disconnect my power. Uh, disconnect the Ethernet. And disconnect the on the go port, on the go port, and disconnect the keyboard, and put my potato, sweet potato, right there, and put my keyboard down, and uh, I'll use the same. Now we'll use a, a different um, uh, solid state drive. But I will use the same uh, uh, controller. Uh, so let me swing this back up, my camera, to my notes. And I need to pause the video right here. All right, so we, um, uh, I, saw, uh, I, I demonstrated that the sweet potato does boot that genome image. And I will be using that same image. Uh, for the Alta and the Solitude, uh, the uh, for the external USB controllers, uh, they, there are some uh, in the Raspberry Pi and the Armium forums. They do have uh, some threads on USB controllers and the uh, hard drive and solid state drive. Uh, now, I saved a copy of the uh, December uh, twenty three firmware for the solitude. Now, I would recommend saving a copy uh, of the firmware for any device. Uh, firmware for your toaster or light bulb or refrigerator. Um, uh, and that Lafrique uh, for uh, that Unix uh, course that I'm going through, I uh, rolled Rolled the firmware back so I could uh, install NetBSD 10 release candidate one. Uh, uh, now I'm, let me show you while I'm here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, let me get over here to 
PDA 77, firmware, uh, solitude. See right here, uh, I saved a copy of the December 12, uh, 14 uh, uh, firmware, and there have been several releases of that firmware, and I will be using the very latest firmware, the uh, January 24th firmware from 2024. That's the latest firmware for the Solitude that they've got over there on their uh, website. Uh, so I wanted to bring that to your attention about firmware. Um, let's see now, there's uh, some issues on these USB controllers. I will be using the Unity, the kind of a more recent um, uh, USB controller. Uh, let's see now. Yeah, so we'll, we'll just be using some uh, U-boot commands. They're not hard. The information is kind of scattered across the internet. Uh, and today, for, on the solitude, we'll attempt to, um, well, we'll connect the wires and power up the um, solitude and, and stay in U-boot. And we'll attempt to do the um, uh, use the UMS gadget. Uh, yeah, some of these things. Now, if you're not interested in U-Boot, just go ahead and go to your Windows or Linux PC and just write the images. Uh, but now, for me, this for this video, I, I, I want to play around with U-Boot. Uh, now, this is kind of the, the a diagram or a figure of what we're doing. I've got a, my PC. Uh, we'll use a USB cable to the on the go port and a serial cable to the solitude. And on the solitude, we'll connect the uh, memory module, the uh, SD card, and the uh, solid state drive. Uh, for software, this is what the software on the on the go port will be using. Uh, Rufus to attempt to write those images and putty uh, for the serial cable and then uh, for the uh, the uh, U-boot commands we'll be attempting to um, access those memory modules uh, the SD card and the USB uh, now I do want to say that the Solitude does boot and run from a uh, US, from a SD card. I'll be using several utilities, and you can use whatever you prefer. Uh, and, and in these videos, I try to make a list of the hardware and software that I'm using. The sweet potato, I showed how it works with the on-the-go port and a USB drive. Uh, I'll be using a Solitude, the um, genome, the very latest genome. Uh, Image. Let me while while I'm here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. It's the uh, image on the uh, 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 Libra computer website. See that one right there. Uh, the genome 64. And see so that's the very latest image there. Uh, January 25th, 2024. And that's that's what I'm talking about. Uh, let me get back to my notes. Uh, uh, power supply with the rocker switch. I like the, the rocker switch on those uh, power supplies so I can see the state of the switch before I connect it to my um, uh, board. Um, uh, the memory module from, uh, from Libra Computer. Let's see here. That's the memory module from Libra Computer. Uh, I've been using the PNY Premier X cards uh, for about the last year. In video 70, I showed how to turn the um, SDR-104 mode on the Lee Potato using the uh, PNY Premier X. And in video 71, I wrote a cron job to reboot the uh, Lee Potato every, every 10 minutes. And I saw no problem with the PNY Premier X card staying in that uh, 1.8 uh, volt mode, and that's that 
SDR mode that we're talking about. Uh, now let me show you while I'm here uh, what I'm talking about. The uh, SD cards, uh, I buy the ones with uh, uh, the that come in the bulk package. Uh, get five cards for thirty dollars, and it, I, I can I get the meter from uh, from the WalMarts or from Amazon, and sometimes you'll see them on sale for twenty five dollars. But uh, now I, let me show you too. Now, uh, well, let me I'll wait till I get to my table here. Let me get back to my notes here. Um, I remember where I was. Uh, now, I used the um, Hyundai Solid State Drive. That was $15. They don't make those anymore, I don't think. So I will be using a, a, a Patriot uh, Drive. That's a $15 Solid State Drive. And I will be using that for the Solitude. Um, uh, the Unitech controller. And you can shut the case off of a uh, external hard drive and, and use that controller if you, if you need to. I will be using a serial cable, uh, Ethernet cable, uh, a net gear eight point switch, eight port switch, guitar picks, uh, uh, USB A male to male cable, uh, Rufus and Putty, and uh, I will be using a. Um, a refurbished PC with an uh, AMD Ryzen processor in there. Now I have used, uh, you know, for the past couple of months, I've used both an Intel and an AMD uh, processor with uh, Windows 10 Professional, uh, and I'm just not having success using either an Intel or an AMD processor. So let me just kind of scroll up here just a minute and show you what I'm talking about. Let me move my camera down. Uh, there's the, the sweet potato that we I demonstrated. The uh, solitude. We'll be using the solitude. Got that in December. A um, uh, USB mail to mail USB cable. We'll be using that for the uh, on the uh, on the go. Uh, a um, Adafruit serial cable. Uh, let's see the memory module from uh, uh, Libra Computer. Let's see if I think I've got it here somewhere. Uh, let's see. Here it is. Let me take this off. Well, let me uh, while it's here on the solitude. Let me let it stay right there because I want to connect everything up. Uh, let's see here now. The uh, the cards. Now uh, I've been using uh, the P and Y bulk cards. See, I'm, I have a number of projects going on, and I put my uh, projects in a uh, sandwich bag with a uh, index card and you can see there's my uh, PNY card right there that goes with this project and I keep those here in case I need to refer back to my uh, if I want to start that project again and I've got a number of uh, projects so that's why I, uh, I like the, the bulk package I buy uh, a number of cards for my projects. Uh, this is the uh, uh, the uh, switch that I'm, that I'm using, an eight port switch, and these are the uh, Libra computers that I'm using for for Professor Shaman's class on uh, Unix programming. I've got a, a Lee Potato running Armbian, a Lee Potato running NetBSD, and a Lafrit running NetBSD 10, release candidate 1, uh, and those are for that uh, Professor Shaman, he's put all of his lectures for uh, uh, 
uh, Unix programming on the uh, internet. And I'm going through that. Uh, kind of, let's see here. You know, um, I can remember. Uh, guitar picks. I use guitar picks on these single board computers. Um, let's see. Here. And I believe I've gone through everything here. All right, let me move my, mod, my camera back up. Uh, oops, let me. Uh, I did. I will be using a. Uh, this is that uh, refurbished um, PC from the Walmart. It's ninety dollars. Um, get a a uh, two. Uh, 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 display ports and it does have an um, an HDMI port. Very nice, ninety dollars. So let me move my camera back up. If I can remember what I was doing. All right, let's see. Yeah, save my firmware. Um, I, I did demonstrate uh, downloading uh, software uh, safety first. If you download software from the internet, my policy is to scan those uh, your downloads from malware and, and viruses before you do anything with them. Uh, and when I connect the cables, my uh, microcontroller instructor advised to pinch those connectors. Uh, when you're hooking the board up, you pinch the pinch the connectors when you're hooking up the cables, uh, and try not to uh, you try not to rotate or twist or pry those connectors because they will uh, pop off the um, uh, the board. And I'll, let me show you uh, uh, what I'm talking about right here. Uh, This is my claw hammer. So I've got a, um, oops, I've got a, a long lever here. Uh, if I grab it by the end of the handle, uh, now if I grab it by the claw, so I shorten up the, the lever, and that's what I'm talking about. Objective. Let's see now. Um, yeah, I was hoping to to uh, use U-boot uh, on the solitude, and uh, I was hoping it would work. And this is what we we're uh, we'll be doing. I'll demonstrate uh, the issues that I'm having, and I need to get some more water here. All right, so I think we're about ready to hook up the cables, uh, and when we connect the cables. Uh, to the on the go port, uh, we we want to. Now I I connect it to the um, to the uh, solitude, and I wait until I uh, uh, turn the power on before I connect it to the to the PC. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, so let's connect all of these. Uh, the memory module, uh, uh, this the uh, SD card, and the solid state drive. Uh, Let's see now. Now this is my solitude. I bought that back in uh, December. I've been working with this for a while. So I connect my on the go. The on the go port is the top left. So I, and I pinch those connectors when I hook it up. Uh, the um, power. And I pinch that connector. Hook up my power. Now hold on before you hook up the uh, 
the on the go port to the computer because that turns the power on to the uh, it can, the power comes through that uh, USB port right there. So hold on before we hook that up. Uh, the, uh, oops, the SD card. The uh, uh, solid state drive. And this is a $15 um, solid state drive. I, I use these $15 ones to play around with. And I'll show you why. And we hook our... Uh, let's see, where's my... And this is my... And this... Uh, this one can uh, uh, go to any uh, port on the uh, Solitude. Alright, so let me... Get back to my notes. Uh, they, uh, Libra Computer does show some uh, uh, speeds that you can expect. Uh, now that's the the Solitude has a uh, USB three uh, uh, port, so I, it should be much faster than that. Uh, I, I think it's 10 times faster than the USB 2, uh, the, the um, uh, SD card and the memory module. So let's see, you know, we've got our cables hooked up. Now, for the serial cable, uh, what we do is uh, ground goes to ground and you cross your wires. Uh, transmit goes to receive and receive goes to transmit. Uh, and let me show you what I'm talking about right here. Uh, here's my uh, HDMI cable, uh, my uh, serial cable. I'm gonna put my... And what I do is see, I get my guitar picks, open up the case on my. Let's see now. Open up the case with my. I'm trying not to break anything. Open up the case and I look at the. to see how the wires are connected there to my USB. And I write down. So here's my. on my USB. I write down the colors. And then for my pins. So I write down my, my colors. The other side, see my black should go to ground, uh, white to uh, transmit, and green to receive. So let's put our USB back together. Okay, and hook that to our. Uh, I usually hook up my. Uh, wires to the UART. The UART is right here on the solitude. Kind of in back of the uh, the USB port right there. And it's color coded too, so uh, black goes to black. And then white goes to transmit. And green goes to receive. So I've got my UART hooked up. My power. Let's see, here's my. Now I'm going to uh, hook up my USB to my computer. Refurbished PC. All right, I think we've got everything. Now hold on, let me get my cable here ready to hook up to my PC. Uh, 
Oh, let me get back to my notes. Uh, we got our Knable hooked up. Uh, COM port here. Before we um, hook the start putty, let me bring that down just a little bit here. Um, we need to look at the COM port to see what COM port we're using. And it's uh, go to our start and right click on the start. And it's the device, device manager. Now I want you to notice uh, uh, that, that balloon, the device manager balloon there. Uh, now I'm not logged in as a, an administrator to make changes. Now when I uh, uh, use Windows, I, it's, I, I create a regular user. Oops. Uh, Due to our ports right here. This is what we're looking for right here, the uh, COM port for that uh, serial cable. Now I, I create a regular user in Windows similar to the Linux and NetBSD. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't use a, a, an administrator account to do, to do routine tasks. So if we, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. So let's get back to our, and I've got the video 75 is where I'm, I've got all my utilities here. Rufus, oh, oops, the wrong one. Oh, Putty is what we want to start for the serial cable. And it's serial. Com three and our speed is one fifteen two hundred and open. Oops, yeah, that's right. Now let me. I'm going to uh, uh, change the uh, settings. Uh, appearance. I want to change the fonts right here. I want a, uh, a heavier font. I'm going to use Lucinda 18. And colors, uh, system colors. Uh, okay, now I believe we are ready get back to my notes you know the serial com3 115 200 now we can go ahead and turn the power on to the uh, external drive turn that on um, turn our power on to the solitude and we had to uh, when I turn it on it uh, uh, I only got one second to, to stop that auto boot, and I'll show you what I mean right here. I turn this power on uh, to stay in new boot. I've only got one second here to press the key to stay in new boot. There we go. So you only got one second to stop the uh, uh, the auto boot to stay in new boot, and this is a, a new boot prompt right here. And that's what I'm uh, talking about. So let's get over to our uh, notes. Now that I've got um, the uh, uh, U boot, uh, now that I'm staying in U boot, now I can plug in my see my device cable right here my, that was on the. Uh, let me move my camera down here. Let me show you. See, I said to uh, hold off before you hook your on the go cable and now I can hook my on the go cable up to my PC and let me move my camera back up all right um, so we've got our uh, USB cable now there's uh, Texas Instruments has a lot of uh, U-boot uh, 
uh, information on their website. Uh, and these were, uh, you, you know, I was, was wanting to show you some U-boot commands, but we, I, I, I kind of ran into some issues, so we'll just kind of show you what I what I got right here. Now you can type question mark or help, and that will bring you up the show you a list of um, uh, commands. And see, while we're here, let me type. I'm going to type version to show you what version of the firmware we have. See, January 24th, 2024, that's the latest firmware that they have uh, on their website. Um, now let's do the list block devices. There's our, uh, the memory module is uh, MMC0, the SD card is MMC1, and the um, hard drive is USB zero. And I think you could uh, uh, is it loop uh, device? Well let me if you uh, on a number of these uh, U boot commands if you just type the the uh, uh, command that does uh, oftentimes it does show you uh, uh, a, a short help so, uh, boot device list, and there's our um, uh, methods for, for booting the uh, solitude, uh, the memory module, SD card, and then the uh, solid state drive. And, and it does go through this sequence when it tries to boot those uh, uh, images. Uh, I need to pause this right here, and that is the uh, order of the the boot order. And let me get back to my notes. Let's see here now. Um, now, uh, since I'm having issues, I'll just show you what what I'm uh, the, the problem that I'm having. Uh, I can't. Uh, the gadget is not working is what I'm trying to say so we'll I'll show you how um, to start an, uh, an admin window uh, so we can call up the uh, Windows disk manager from a regular user so here let me show you what I'm talking about if we do the UMS zero MMC uh, zero. Uh, so there's our memory module that I'm trying to access. And if we go over to Windows, uh, the file explorer, it does not show up here. And if we go over to Rufus, now I want to I want to write that image if I try to call up Rufus uh, see the uh, device does not show up here in, in, in Rufus so uh, uh, let me let me show you how I start a uh, an administrator command window from a regular user you go down to uh, oops. Go down to Windows System and click on the uh, command prompt. Uh, do a right click and more and run as administrator. And you are. password and there we have a administrator uh, command prompt and if you do a DIR for those uh, administrative tests that does show a list of your uh, administrator tests as you can do and we will be doing the disk management uh, 
NG MSC. Type that in. And here's our uh, disk manager. See that um, uh, UMS gadget is not showing up here. So there's nothing we can do, nothing I, that I can think of that we can do. Uh, that was the um, the memory module. So let's stop this. This control C stops the gadget. Uh, let's do the um, uh, UMS zero MMC one, and that's the um, uh, SD card is on MMC one. We start the gadget. Um, I'll go over here to our uh, window, and it should show up in the uh, disk manager. Nothing. I'm not seeing anything. So there's nothing we can do, or nothing I can think of to do um, if it's not recognizing that gadget. So Control C. Uh, that stops the uh, the gadget, and for the USB, uh, let me do the this. Uh, for the uh, USB, we need to do a li little bit different. Uh, let me type the USB command right here. And it does show uh, uh, how the, the usage. And we need to start the USB. USB start right here. And now we can do the um, UMS 0. USB zero, and that's how we start the uh, gadget for the uh, uh, USB device. And if we look over on our uh, administrative window and see if it comes up, no, I see. I'm not seeing a, um, I'm not seeing that uh, gadget, the UMS gadget. So let's get out of here. Uh, control C stops the gadget. And I'll get over here to my notes. Uh, I went through the through all the memory devices. I, I'm just not seeing the um, the gadget show up. So this is what we'll do. We'll re remove the uh, USB cable, then turn the power off and remove our um, modules. And let me show you what I'm talking about right here. Uh, now, when, when I disconnect the cables, I go in reverse order. I remove the on the go gadget first. Remove it. Uh, uh, turn the power off on my um, solid state drive. I remove it. Okay. Remove the SD. Let me turn the power off on this thing. I forgot to. Now I've turned the power off. Now I've removed the uh, SD card. I turn it over. And then I remove the memory module with my guitar pick. See, I'm using my guitar pick. And I do very carefully remove that memory module because that it's very easy to uh, bend those pins. Very carefully lift that memory module off. All right, so now we've got a... Uh, uh, the, the solitude and we, the power is turned off and now what I want to do is to uh, since I could not use the the, um, uh, the gadget to write an image to the solid state drive okay let's write the uh, image uh, with the computer so let's just hook this up And we turn our power on. The power is turned on. 
Okay, now let me move my screen back up. And let's see here now. If I go over here to my uh, administrative window, now let's try the the disk manager from here. See, there it is. See, uh, that uh, disk shows up. So I know um, yeah, my, my con disk controller is working. I know the uh, solid state drive is working. It's the UMS gadget, I believe, that's, that's the problem. So let's go over to uh, Rufus. Let's see now. Let's go over to Rufus. And see our uh, uh, solid state drive shows up. And select. And here's that image. See, um, uh, January 25th, 2024 genome. That's that image from uh, the very latest gene Debian image. Let me just show you here uh, while, I'm, while I'm right there. See right here. The, very latest uh, image, January 25th. And we get over here to Rufus, uh, select that image, and write, uh, write the image over there. And I will, um, I'll pause the video while it's writing the image. It takes a, uh, a few minutes, not long, but I will pause the video. All right, so we almost have our image. And there we go. Now let's close. And I think we, now whenever I uh, disconnect those um, discs, I go down to my tray down there. If I, Try to remember, and I uh, eject eject that uh, uh, solid state drive. So occasionally, I, I, I don't remember to do that, but I, I yeah. now we can. Uh, so I, I wrote the image. Uh, now we can boot the um, uh, solid uh, attempt to boot the um, uh, that image from the uh, on the go USB port there. And let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna uh, okay. Here's my solid state drive. I'm gonna turn the power off. And here's the uh, the only go port right here. We remove that cable, that mail to mail cable, and our solid state drive goes here in that only go port, top left. Okay, and I turn my power on to my solid state drive. And uh, I need, whoops, let me see, let me turn that off. Let me, I, I need to hook up since we're going to try to uh, boot this system. I need to hook up all my cables. Uh, the HDMI cable. See, I'm pinching the, the connectors. Uh, the Ethernet cable. The, Ethernet cable and the keyboard. Okay, so now I've got everything hooked up. 
I probably should have done something different here. But okay, so everything is ready. Let me, let me turn my power on to my solid state drive. And if I switch over there to my HDMI 3, uh, turn the power on. Oops, oops, let me turn my camera back up before I do that. I, I, I got my... Okay, uh, you know, turn the power on. And it's trying to boot up. Let's see here now. Yeah, this see. Trying to boot up right here. Going through the thing right here. And now I'm starting starting to see some uh, B3 file system errors. Uh, now that is the same um, disk controller that was working for Sweet Potato. Um, I'm, I just want to bring this to your attention. Uh, see, now we get uh, read-only file system errors. Now, let me switch over here to my... All right, let's go to my putty. I still got putty running. Uh, see right here, read-only file system. If I was uh, using my $250 drive with data on there, and it turns this $250 drive and my data on to read-only, I would not be very happy. And that's why I use uh, $15 drives when I'm testing out these things. Uh, I don't mind uh, trashing a $15 drive, but I'm not going to trash a, a $250 drive with uh, data on there. Uh, I just kind of want you to be aware of what I'm seeing. Uh, so read only file system. Now um, let's turn that off and, and boot it from the uh, SD card. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, that's here's our here's our solitude. Okay, I'm gonna turn the power off. Turn the power off to the uh, solid state drive. Remove our. Uh, drive from the on-the-go port right here. Uh, oops, let me see if I can get this under my... Uh, USB cable right here. There we go. Something like that. Uh, and what I'm, I'm talking about is... Um, Using my uh, PNY card, I'm going to use my uh, writer and I'll write my image over there to my, uh, using my uh, PC, my AMD processor. So let's move my camera back up. All right. Now I've got my SD card plugged in. So let's just go over to our admin window and let's just see if it shows up. Now see, there, there's our um, uh, SD card right there. Uh, it did not show up with the, the UMS gadget. So uh, uh, it's, it's, it's as far as I can tell, it's the UMS gadget running on the Solitude. Because I can see it on my uh, 
disk manager. So if we go over to Rufus, uh, and write that image. See, there it is. That's showing up in Rufus. I write that same image. The genome image, that's the very latest genome image on the Libra computer website. I'm going to write that to the card. Start. Now it, it, it takes a minute or two. I will pause the video. All right, we have almost got our image. There we go. It's uh, great. So let's uh, close. And go over to our tray and see if we have anything to eject. There's nothing to eject, so we are ready to uh, take the card out. Let me show you what we're doing. I'm removing the SD card that we just wrote on an AMD processor. Uh, there seemed like there were some uh, issues with AMD processors, but let's just find out. Insert my SD card, uh, keyboard. I may have to move my keyboards around. Uh, let's see, I've got everything hooked up. Ethernet, HDMI, power. Okay. Move my camera back up. And switch over there to my HDMI, and I am ready. We'll try it and see what happens. And I believe it's booting up. There it goes. Let's see if it uh, comes through our boot screen. And there it's booting up from the SD card, PNY SD card, those bulk cards that I buy. <clears throat> Let's see now. Here it comes. And we should have the uh, Install splash screen. Uh, let's see if it comes up. There it is. So I am going to uh, pause the video right now and uh, uh, finish the install. And I'll be back in just a minute, a few minutes. All right. So we are, I've got my uh, solitude uh, uh, set up. Now let's switch over to my notes. All right, so we've got our um, the solitude it booted up from the SD card, and that's a PNY uh, Premier X card, uh, and I wrote the image on an AMD processor. So um, I I'm not sure. I mean, I I'm not seeing any problems uh, with either a SD card or an AMD processor. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Uh, so the one thing I did want to show is how to install the uh, uh, Raspberry Pi agnostics from their uh, repository. It's not obvious, and I don't. I I prefer not to uh, add repositories to my uh, uh, repository list. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here's our solitude. We got it set up. And activities, um, files. Uh, now, I 
create a uh, folder, a directory with uh, my installs. Um, I need a, um, uh, let's see, I need a terminal window here too. Uh, terminal. And let me move this over here. And let's see if we can blow this up a little bit. Preferences. Uh, let's see. Uh, profiles, I forgot. Uh, unnamed, maybe. Yeah. I want to use a bigger font. Uh, let's see here. Maybe 18. So you can see the font a little bit there. Yeah, that's a little better. All right, so I've got my. I need to. Uh, I need to change my directory here. Oops, uh, Elias. Uh, change directory to my installs, and I need. To create my um, agnostics folder here, change directory to agnostics. Okay, now let me show you how I um, install a. Um, An application from a repository. See the repository, that Raspberry Pi repository is, let me move that cursor over, uh, archive, oops, archive, dot raspberry pi dot org. Right there in my address window and this is the uh, repository go to Debian uh, let me blow that up to you let me so you can see it a little bit better uh, Debian uh, pool main and a and agnostics and let's just go down to the bottom and get the latest version and what I'm doing is getting that uh, uh, agnostics ARM uh, 64 project DEB the Debian project thing and now I believe that's all I need over there is it downloaded yeah And I should be able to go to my downloads, copy, and paste. And we should have it over here in our install directory. Now let me show you how I uh, install that. See, there's that Debian package right there. And uh, I got it from the, I got that Debian info from the, um, from the repository, I did not um, uh, link over there uh, or add it to that uh, repository list. sudo apt install and this local agnostics um, package and enter. And it takes a few minutes to, or, well, a few seconds to uh, install this. And okay, there we go. And now we can run, we should have that um, package in our list down here. Let's just check this out. Let's see here if it 
Did it come up? Yeah, there it is right there. Raspberry Pi Diagnostics. And let's move our window over here. Uh, let me clear this window. Uh, bring that uh, diagnosis to the front. And let's just uh, wait just a few seconds and run the Raspberry Pi test. SD card test. And okay, let's check our results. And let's blow this up a little bit. Let's see. One that can move it up just a little bit more. Okay, let's write those down. Uh, it's uh, sequential write speed twenty eight zero four two. The random write speed, uh, 1973 ops, right? And read, 3890. All right, now let's, okay. I wrote that down on my, my index card. And let's switch over to my PC. I'm going to move my keyboard over here. I get two keyboards, two mouses, and I think I've got it ready to set up over here on my um, video 77. I copied that um, file from um, uh, that I had. And, but I think it's video 70. This is where this comes from. And so if we look here, this is that uh, table that I created. And this is the, um, uh, for the solitude. Uh, now, the, of course, now, uh, I have uh, seen uh, much higher uh, Results, but I'm just doing this for um, uh, uh, demonstration. I'm not doing this for the, um, the for the maximum because he can uh, wait for that uh, solitude to uh, settle down, and you'll get the uh, ops in that in that range right there. But uh, that's uh, that's the uh, looks like that's the um, uh, uh, SDR 104 mode. Now that's kind of what I was wanting to show, how to install a program from the, uh, an application from the uh, Raspberry Pi repository. So let me get to my, to my notes. Uh, yeah, so that's the end of this video. And I wanted to show um, uh, the issues that I was having. Let me get up here to the top. The issues that I'm having with Solitude and Alta. Um, uh, it's the uh, UMS gadget that I'm having a problem with. I'm having a problem with the, um, uh, uh, let me get down here, uh, the U USB controllers uh, on the on the go port. Uh, I'm not seeing any problem uh, with the uh, AMD uh, uh, let me get up here. Uh, let's see now. I'm not seeing any issues with AMD processors running Windows 10 Pro. 
Uh, I'm not seeing any issues with the uh, PNY uh, uh, SD cards. It's the uh, uh, solitude and altar that I'm uh, seeing the issues with. Uh, the fruit and sweet potato, they um, uh, uh, run as I expect. So this is my video then for uh, for the solitude, and uh, the next video is for the altar. That'll be video seventy eight. So thank you for watching.